Dengan izinnya Arif, petisyen pendidikan masuk program bela dan program cara. Persidangan hari ini dijalankan secara sidang video atas persetujuan semua pihak berikutan Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan yang berkot kuasa sehingga 4 Februari 2021. Hakim yang bersidang pada hari ini ialah Yang Arif Datuk Sri Marana Haji Yahya. Pemperintian pertama, WA 1891 2020, Pemperintian Tan Jun Sheng. Dengan izinnya Arif, nama saya Tan Jun Sheng, Pemperintian pertama. Ya. Dengan izin Yang Arif, saya James Ding Silwan. Saya adalah peguam pengusul yang mewakili pempetisyen pertama. Saya izin yang ini, Ahmad Faiz Razali, peguam ketua. Hadir bagi mewakili peguam negara. Dengan izin yang Arif, Diana Lim Fang Ping, mewakili majlis peguam. Dengan izin yang Arif, di Malang Dewa Raja, mewakili jawatan kuasa peguam Kuala Lumpur dan Jawatan Kuasa Peguam Selangor. Dengan izin Yang Arif, saya memohon untuk kebenaran Yang Arif untuk meneruskan ucapan saya di dalam bahasa Inggeris. Okay, dibenarkan. I'm much obliged. My lady, the petitioner Tan Jung Sheng is the youngest child of three siblings. Preserving through the journey of reading law, the petitioner was awarded with the degree of Bachelor of Law with second class honours from the University of London in 2018. He then completed his CLP examination in the following year. Subsequently, the petitioner commenced his pupillage at Messrs. S.S. Ng and Lim in 2020 under his pupil master, Ng C. Singh. During his pupillage, the petitioner was given the invaluable opportunity to explore various practice areas within the firm which gave the petitioner a rewarding practical insight into the profession. The petitioner is grateful for this experience. My lady, on this special day, the petitioner would like to seek the leave of this honourable court to express his deepest gratitude and heartfelt appreciation to the people who have been instrumental in the petitioner's journey in pursuing his legal career. First and foremost, the petitioner would like to express his utmost gratitude to his grandmother, Juan A. Sim and his parents, Tan Lian Yong and Tan Sin Wah, who I believe are watching this hearing through the YouTube live stream right now. The petitioner is thankful for their unconditional love, support and guidance in this life. Without them, the petitioner acknowledges that he will not have been able to be here to celebrate this momentous occasion. The petitioner will also like to take Extend his, I beg your pardon, uh, extend his gratitude to the lawyers of the firm for being very patient with him and for sharing their knowledge and experience for their countless years of practice, as well as colleagues who do not hesitate to assist when he requires guidance. Further, the petitioner is also grateful to his friends throughout his different stages of life who have brought joy and support during these challenging times and his legal aid mates for making his pupillage experience a memorable and meaningful one. The petitioner is also thankful for the opportunities he has received from his internships at Messrs. Ho and Moira and Messrs. Shukling and Bot, which allowed him to decide whether the path he stepped foot in is truly the path he wishes to continue to pursue. Finally, the petitioner would like to thank the teachers and lecturers he has crossed path with throughout his education. Yang Arif, saya sesungguhnya percaya bahawa pempetisyen merupakan seseorang yang berkelayakan untuk diterima masuk dan didaftaraikan sebagai seorang peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaya menurut Akta Profesional Undang-Undang 1976. Saya juga percaya bahawa semua surat cara pempetisyen adalah teratur dan tiada bantahan daripada rakan-rakan bijaksana saya yang mewakili badan-badan berkenaan ke atas penerimaan pempetisyen. Ada bantahan ya Arif? Dengan izin Arif, dia ada bantahan daripada majlis peguam. 
daripada bantahan yang Arif. Oleh yang demikian, saya dengan rendah diri memohon agar mahkamah yang mulia ini menerima masuk dan mendaftaraikan pempetisyen sebagai seorang peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaya. Baik, mahkamah dengan ini membenarkan permohonan uh, pempetisyen dan menerima masuk Encik Tan Jun Sheng sebagai peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaya dan juga memerintahkan nama Encik Tan Jun Sheng dan penerimaannya didaftaraikan oleh pendaftar. Dengan izin Yang Arif, saya memohon kebenaran mahkamah yang mulia ini untuk pempetisyen menjubahkan dirinya. Silakan Cik Tan Jun Sheng. Terima kasih Yang Arif. Baik. Terima kasih Yang Arif. Yeah. Petisyen kedua WA 18213012020 Pempetisyen Lee Pagi Dengan izin Arif Saya Lee Pagi Arif Pempetisyen nombor 2 pagi hari ini Dengan izin Arif Arif, nama saya Chia Cheng Wei. Saya adalah pengusuh bagi pihak pempetisyen kedua. Rakan-rakan saya, uh, bijaksana saya adalah seperti mana yang telah di uh, perkenalkan sebentar tadi, Yang Arif. Yang Arif, saya mohon keizinan mahkamah untuk saya meneruskan hujahan saya dalam bahasa Inggeris. Gunakan. Masih, Yang Arif. Yang Arif, the petitioner was born on 19 of April 1995 in Kuala Lumpur and is the eldest child of the loving couple of Mr. Lee Fook Loy and Madam Wong Sao Chun. She received her earlier early education in SJKC Kepong 2 and thereafter at SMK Manjalara before started reading laws at the Advanced Tertiary College ATC until she graduated with a Bachelor's of Laws degrees from the University of London in 2018. The petitioner was once lost in life, she told me, and did not know how she would sketch her professional career. Only as late as in the third year of her degree studies, she finally firms up her determination to become a law practitioner. In 2019, the petitioner then started to work full-time in a legal firm and pursuing her studies for the Certificate of Legal Practice in legal practice, CLP in 2019, at the same time. Having to juggle between work and studies is not an easy task, but the petitioner told me that she re reminisces that this extremely challenging yet rewarding journey as she made it to pass her CLP examination in just one sitting. Uh, as we all know, the examination is touted as one of the five toughest examination in the world. To top it off, she was down with dengue fever while sitting for her last two papers. It was with determination and passion for the subjects that guided her to where she stood now today for your ladyship. The petitioner thereafter read under the chambers of my learned friend, and my former colleague, Mr. Alan Kang. During the ninth month journey, the petitioner, the petitioner was entrusted to handle some cases on her own under the guidance of Mr. Alan Kang, in which the petitioner confessed to me that she felt grateful as she was given ample opportunity to expose various areas of the practice. The practitioners during her pupillage had also represented many less privileged accused persons through the Malaysian Bar Legal Aid and Doc Brief Program. It was through the privilege period that the petitioner realized that the legal profession indeed demand for extremely high ethical standards as it, effect, as it affects each stratum of our society. With that in mind, she vowed to always uphold rights and interests with principle, honor, and integrity. On this momentous occasion, the petitioner would like to express her utmost gratitude to her parents, Mr. Lee Fook Loy and Madam Wong Sao Chun, for their unconditional love 
moral and financial support they have showered her. The petitioner would also like to express her gratitude to her younger sister, Li Pei Hui, for the laughter and care, to her pupil master for the opportunity to read in his chamber, for his guidance and patience along the journey, and for always pushing the petitioner beyond her limits to excel. Not forgetting her colleagues, the associates, the clerks, and the fellow pupils in Mrs. Allen Kang and company for their help, guidance, and laughter that they have shared with the petitioner from the day she commenced her privilege. The petitioner would also like to thank her close friends who without fail lifted her spirits every time when she was at the verge of giving up. To all the kind souls around her, her lecturers, mentors, teachers, acquaintances in court, some brilliant advocates whom she met during the legal journey, for their wisdom and knowledge that was imparted to her, of which she always treasures and aspires. Yang Arif, saya percaya uh, ketas-ketas adalah teratur dalam kausa ini dan pempetition adalah seorang yang berkelayakan di bawah Akta Profesion Undang-Undang 1976. Dan saya juga percaya rakan-rakan bijaksana saya tiada bantahan terhadap petition ini. Tiada bantahan, Yang Arif? Tiada bantahan, Yang Arif. Tiada bantahan, Yang Arif. Maka, Yang Arif, saya dengan rendah dirinya memohon supaya pempetition Li Peggy diterima masuk dan didaftar raikan sebagai seorang peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaya. Mahkamah dengan ini membenarkan permohonan pempetition dan menerima masuk Cik Li Peggy sebagai peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaya dan juga memerintahkan nama Cik Li Peggy dan penerimaannya didaftarkan oleh pendaftar. Terima kasih, Yang Arif. Yang Arif, mohon izin juga Yang Arif supaya membenarkan pempetition menyarungkan jubah ke atas dirinya. Silakan Cik Li Peggy. Terima kasih, Yang Arif. Terima kasih Yang Arif. Petition ketiga WA 18287022020 Pempetition Kan Shing Ken. Dengan izin Yang Arif, nama saya Kan Shing Ken. Pempetition ketiga. Dengan izin Yang Arif, saya Siti Masmuah binti Maulan hadir bagi pihak pempetisyen Kan Shing Ken pada hari ini. Rakan-rakan bijaksana, saya yang mewakili yang berbahagia Peguam Negara, Peguam Negara Malaysia, Majlis Peguam Malaysia dan juga jawatan kuasa Kuala Lumpur, jawatan kuasa Peguam Kuala Lumpur yang telah pun diperkenalkan awal tadi. Yang Arif, saya ingin memohon kebenaran untuk meneruskan ucapan saya dalam bahasa Inggeris. Dibenarkan. Terima kasih, Mbak Lady. The petitioner Kang Shinken was born as the eldest son of Mr. Kan, Kan Kim Ti and Madam Ao San Jin on 30th June 1995. Back then during his early education at Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Sifil, Subanjaya, the petitioner lived a solitude life as he was a reserved and timid person in school. However, despite living in a solitude life, the petitioner persevered it similarly to a lone wolf. The petitioner stayed truthful and humble to himself and has no regrets from his primary schooling days until the day he graduated from the University of Liverpool and will continue to do so. The petitioner was described by his father, Mr. Kan Kim Ti, as a person who always had a sense of compassion and empathy ever since he was a child. His father occasionally reminisced that the petitioner would always request him to make a small donation of money to those who are in need. Just like any other teenager, the petitioner had no clue as to what he wanted to be or do after completing his secondary education. He envied his fellow classmates as they have already set a directions as to what they want to be in the future. 
the petitioner ponder upon his strength and weaknesses, whether it uh, be based on his education or personality. Finally, he was convinced that pursuing the legal field was the right path for him and therefore he took the leap of faith and landed where he is today. The petitioner would not be standing here in this honourable court on this honourable day without those, these persons who had guided him, motivated him and walked as above, so below together with him. Their petitioner would, here would first like to de dedicate his achievement today to his good firm, Mr. Sidet, Theo Wong and Dennis, where he had spent nine months to reach to this day. The petitioner also would like to thank the whole of Ms. Tan Mui Tax team who had unrealized relentlessly guided him every day. But most importantly, he would like to thank uh, Ms. Tan Mutek who had given him the opportunity to learn from the best and for him to grow not only as a competent lawyer, but at the same time, always remembering to be a good Samaritan. Apart from his office circle, the petitioner would like to give his biggest dedication and gratitude to his parents for their endless love, support and sacrifice to ensure that the petitioner is who he is today. To uh, Also to his late grandparents that he will always be eternally grateful to them for their blessings. At this point of time, um, of course, the, the, with the pandemic that he has been living with us for about a year now, the petitioner would also like to take this opportunity to thank all of our frontliners for their services and sacrifices in order to provide their requisite healthcare services to other people. A big thank you also uh, the petitioner uh, would like to share to Shada, Mirzan, Kezi and Zach for their guidance and assistance throughout the entire period of the petitioner's tempering. And, and last but not least, the petitioner would like to thank himself for working hard, for having no days off, for never quitting, for always being a, good, a, gift, a giver rather than a receiver, and for trying to do more right than wrong and for always believing in himself no matter the consequences. Yang Arif, saya percaya bahawa kompetisyen adalah seorang yang berkelayakan di bawah Akta Profesion Undang-Undang 1976 dan saya percaya semua kertas kompetisyen adalah sempurna dan teratur. Saya juga percaya bahawa rakan-rakan bijaksana saya yang mewakili badan-badan yang berkenaan tiada bantahan terhadap petisyen ini. Ada bantahan yang Arif? Yang Arif tak ada bantahan. Tak ada bantahan yang Arif. Maaf. Dengan itu, saya dengan rendah diri memohon kepada mahkamah yang mulia ini supaya pempetisyen Kan Shunken diterima masuk dan didaftaraikan sebagai peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaya. Mahkamah dengan ini membenarkan permohonan pempetisyen dan menerima masuk Encik Kan Shunken sebagai peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaya dan juga memerintahkan nama Encik Kan Shunken dan penerimaannya didaftaraikan oleh pendaftar. Terima kasih Yang Arif. Saya juga dengan rendah diri memohon kebenaran Mahkamah Yang Mulia ini untuk membenarkan pempetisyen untuk menyarungkan jubahnya sendiri. Silakan Syed Khan Shing Khan. Terima kasih Yang Arif. Petisyen keempat WA 1828802020 Pempetisyen Mok Yang Yi Dengan izin yang Arif, saya Mok Yang Yi, Pempetisyen keempat Baik. Dengan izin yang Arif, sekali lagi saya Cha Cheng Wei mengusul kepada pempetisyen ini dan saya percaya rakan-rakan bijaksana saya juga turut telah diperkenalkan seperti tadi. Yang Arif, saya mohon izin untuk membentangkan sedikit sebanyak latar belakang pempetition dalam bahasa English. Baik. Masa Yang Arif. My lady, the petitioner was born in Ipoh, Perak on 20, 26 of August 1994. The petitioner is a second child to Mr. Mok Kam Tong and Madam Chiang Sao Fong. The petitioner's parents have helped to shape her in being the person she is today. Petitioner would also like to express her gratitude to her incredible siblings, Ms. Mok Jo Yi and Mr. Justin Mok for their unwavering supports. 
Petitioner completed her University of London Bachelor's of Laws degree at the Advanced Tertiary College in Kuala Lumpur in 2017. She later obtained her certificate in legal practice in the year of 2019. The petitioner had had a memorable journey in Mrs. Ellen Kang and company. It had been challenging yet rewarding and insightful experience to the petitioner. Petitioner wishes to thank her friends, especially her pupil mate, Ms. Lee Peggy, who is also before your ladyship today, for putting up with her, her nonsense, wherever the petitioner is facing difficulties or whenever the petitioner is stuck. Petitioner would also like to express her utmost gratitude to all the challenger colleagues. Sorry, I beg your pardon, my lady. Uh, the petitioner would also like to express her utmost gratitude to all her colleagues and her pupil master, Mr. Alan Kang Wei Lun, for their support, advice, and kindness that had showered on her. All of them had played an indispensable role in helping the petitioner to lay a firm foundation for an insightful legal career pathway. The motivation and guidance during her pupilage have been the source of inspiration for the petitioner. A respectable practitioner once told her, and I quote my lady, always strive to be better as there is no finish line in this profession. Start when you stand and work wherever tools you have at your command and better tools will be found as you go along, unquote. These inspiration words had made a great impact in the petition, petitioner's mind, and she was keeping that in her mind as her guiding stars along the professional career path in future. Knowing that being called to the bar is just the beginning of a strenuous journey ahead, the petitioner hopes to better equip herself by continuing to learn from the experience of seniors and contemporaries at the bar. With hands on her heart, petitioner would like to once again express a gratitude to the almighty God for the abundance of blessings, her remarkable family, her pupil masters, the marvelous team is Immersus Kang and Ko, and those that crossed path with the petitioner who guided and assisted her in one way or another. Yang Arif, saya percaya kertas-kertas kausa petition ini adalah teratur dan rakan-rakan bijaksana saya tiada bantahan terhadap petition ini. Tiada bantahan, Yang Arif? Tiada bantahan, Yang Arif? Tiada bantahan, Yang Arif. Yang Arif, saya dengan Rinda diri ini memohon supaya petition ini diterima masuk dan didaftaraikan sebagai seorang peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaya. Baik, mahkamah dengan ini membenarkan permohonan pempetition dan menerima masuk Cik Mok Yan Yi sebagai peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaya dan juga memerintahkan supaya nama Cik Mok Yan Yi dan penerimaannya didaftaraikan oleh pendaftar. Terima kasih, Yang Arif. Mohon izin mahkamah supaya pempetition ini menyarungkan jubah ke atas dirinya sebagai tanda diterima masuk. Silakan Cik Mok Yan Yi. Masih Arif. Terima kasih Yang Arif. Baik. Petition kelima, WA 1845302020 Pempetition Liu Lisia. Dengan izin Arif, nama saya Liu Lisia, Pempetition kelima. Ya. Dengan izin Yang Arif, ya. saya Nur Muhammad dan hadir bagi pihak Pempetition dalam petition ini, Liu Lisia. Yang kali rakan-rakan saya bijak sana bagi kecil-kecil badan berkenaan telah pun perkenalkan, diperkenalkan. Yang kali saya mohon izin untuk memberi persembahan saya dalam bahasa Inggeris. Dibenarkan? Yang kali saya ingin ada. Yang hamil petisi nama Lady Liu Lisha. 
was born on the 11th of March, 1993, in Kuching, Sarawak. She is the youngest child of Mr. Liu Kang Hua and Madam E. C. Moi. Happy parents, she described, who had always been there for her. She completed her SPM, SCPM, uh, in, in the year 2012, before proceeding to read law under an external program in the year 2013. The opposition was successfully completed the course in the year 2017. Thereafter, she proceeded to obtain a certificate in legal practice in 2018. This makes her a qualified person under the Legal Profession Act. And on the, on the, in November of 2018, she, she commenced privilege in the chambers of my learned friend, Mr. Tan Ki Ping, in the form of Messrs. S.K. Ling and Tan in Kuching. The period of privilege was 12 months. She successfully completed it, and she was called, she was admit, admit, admitted and enrolled and called to the High Court of Sabah, Sarawak, in the state of Sarawak in February 2020. Without wasting time on the 4th of March 2020, your petitioner left what I call home and country, East Malaysia, and came all the, took all the long way from her hometown to the capital city of Peninsular Malaysia, which is Kuala Lumpur, to commence privilege in the chambers of my learned friend, Puan Nurul Harim Binti Hassan, in the form of Messrs. Khairizan, Kyo, and Yuriati. Her privilege commenced on the 4th of March 2020. She, because she had been called to the Sabah, the Ma of Sabah, Sarawak, she was and awarded three months privilege exemption from the period. She completed privilege on the 4th of September, 1920, 2020. She takes this opportunity, my lady, to thank her people master, and indeed to extend her deepest appreciation and gratitude to Puan Nurul. She said she benefited greatly from her master's guidance and tutelage, and nurturing her to be a qualified person. She exposed the opposite, her position, her people master, she said, had exposed her to the real world of legal practice. And she he would also take this opportunity to express her thanks to the lawyers and the colleagues in the firm for having assisted in her to assist her in her understanding of the law and its practical reality. Many for the, the opposition personally and the family, this day is auspicious. This is a day that she has achieved her hopes and her dreams. She would like to express her deepest gratitude to her parents, Mr. Liu and Madam E. These are the people who have been behind the screen witnessing her succeed in both her academic and her completion of the privilege. So today she thanks her parents for their unconditional love and the final support for all this time. Her parents, she said, have always been her pillar of strength for every up and down in pursuing her legal career. Without them, she would not have achieved such a great milestone in her life and gained whatever she has achieved until today. The opposition believes that she had never disappointed, she had never been disappointing to her parents. She would also like to thank all her friends who have given her support all throughout her journey. Malidi, under the circumstances, Tamu Mon is in, but mengesahkan bahawa pemerintah adalah seorang yang layak untuk diterima masuk sebagai pegawai bela pegawai bicara mahkamah tinggi Malaya. Semua surat cara dalam pemerintah ini adalah lengkap teratur dan sempurna dan tiada bacaan dari pihak pegawai negara, masyarakat pegawai Malaysia dan juga pegawai pegawai Kuala Lumpur. Justru yang arif dengan penuh hormat dan sukacita. Saya mohon kepada mahkamah yang mulia ini untuk menerima masuk dan mendaftarkan Liu Li Xia sebagai program bela program cara matamah tinggi Malaya. Mohon diperkenalkan. Ada bantahan yang Arif? Ya, ada bantahan yang Arif. Ya, ada bantahan yang Arif. Baik, mahkamah dengan ini membenarkan permohonan competition dan menerima masuk Cik Liu Li Xia sebagai program bela dan program cara matamah tinggi Malaya dan juga memerintahkan supaya nama Cik Liu Li Xia dan penerimaannya didaftarkan oleh pendaftar. Saya ucapkan terima kasih kepada Yang Arif atas keputusan itu. 
Saya mohon izin yang ada bagi competition sekarang menyalurkan jubahnya sendiri. Silakan Cik Liu Li Xia. Terima kasih yang Arif. I'm obliged Malaysia. Okay. Petition ke-6 WA 18-2007-11-2019 Pempetition Muhammad Asraf bin Shahabuddin Dengan izin Ya Arif, saya Muhammad Asraf bin Shahabuddin Pempetition ke-6 Dengan izin Ya Arif saya Yip Huen Wing dan saya mewakili kompetisyen Muhammad Asraf bin Shahabuddin. Rakan-rakan bijaksana saya uh, daripada Peguam Negara Malaysia, Majlis Peguam Malaysia dan jawatan kuasa Peguam Kuala Lumpur adalah seperti yang diperkenalkan tadi. Dengan segala hormatnya yang Arif, uh, saya memohon keizinan untuk berterusan dengan ucapan saya dalam bahasa Inggeris. Inggeris kerana saya tidak lagi ingin memedihkan telinga para uh, hadiran hadirin yang menyaksikan uh, Terima kasih. Baik, digunakan. Terima kasih, Arif. My lady, it is said that true success is born from circumstances of adversity. I believe that this is true in the case of your petitioner, Muhammad Asraf bin Shahabuddin, who stands somewhere uh, before your ladyship via the wonders of our technology. Your petitioner originates, uh, sorry, your petitioner represents a true Malaysian success story. Your petitioner originates from the town of Baling Kedah, He is the second child and the only son of Injik Shahabuddin bin Abdul and Juan Norma binti Hussein. The father of your petitioner is a farmer and the mother of your petitioner is a housewife. And despite coming from humble backgrounds, the parents of your petitioner was able to successfully raise three children, all of whom who have been able to elevate themselves above their circumstances. Your petitioner's eldest sister, Norlina, currently works with the Kedah Regional Development Authority and your petitioner's younger sister, Shafika, has followed in your petitioner's footsteps and is currently reading law at the University of Technology, Mara, at the Shah Alam campus. Your petitioner is the first person in his family to be called to the bar, and I'm sure that his parents are proudly watching his long call today as well. On this joyous and momentous occasion of your petitioner's call to the bar, your petitioner would firstly like to express his deepest love, appreciation, and gratitude to his parents, Inchik Shahabuddin bin Abdul and Puan Normas binti Hussein for their unconditional love, support, encouragement and sacrifice, without whom your petitioner would not have been able to have the privilege of appearing before your ladyship today. Your petitioner believes that his parents, like most typical Asian parents, had made every possible sacrifice to ensure that your petitioner was able to achieve his dream of becoming a lawyer, and he remains eternally grateful to them for doing so. Uh, my lady, if I may, I would just like to share a little story about your petitioner, uh, which I, I obtained from my short interaction with him uh, while preparing for your petitioner's long call this morning. As I usually do before um, moving any long calls, I invited the petitioner uh, to have a Zoom meeting with me so that I could get to know uh, more about the person whose call I'm about to move. I usually hold uh, these kind of meetings uh, with students uh, before I move their long call because I, I like to get to know the students so that I can prepare a speech which befits the occasion of one getting called to the bar. After all, um, one can only get called to the bar once in their lifetime. We can get married and divorced many times, but calling to, call to the bar only once in your life. And usually in my discussions with uh, petition, uh, students or gym ring students, my, one of my questions which I always ask is always, why, what made you want to become a lawyer? I always remain curious for the answers which I receive to these questions, as I feel that this actually reveals the motivation of the person to become a lawyer, to be called to the bar, and it's also a good gauge of how passionate the person will be uh, in a profession, which I feel is one of the most challenging professions of all. After all, it's not many professions where you see uh, an individual having to chase for work, chase for files, uh, where you are subject to scoldings from various parties, including your bosses, sometimes colleagues, opponents, uh, in rare occasions, sometimes judges. And at all times, you have to have the back of your mind that 
the one person who you are actually representing is most likely the person who's likely to disappoint you by not paying your bills or sometimes even lodging reports or complaints against you. And the usual answers I usually get to the question of why do you want to become a lawyer is, is you know, you get the idealistic uh, answers, which is like, I want to do justice. You get some very honest answers, which I just want to make money. Lawyers make a lot of money. That's not true. Um, and sometimes some, some petitioners actually of course, they are all inspired by TV shows, which always represent or always glamorize the legal profession uh, by portraying lawyers in a very glitzy and uh, you know, with a very uh, uh, fantastic lifestyle. In, in your case, uh, in this case, my young Arif, the petitioner did not give me such an answer. Instead, your petitioner gave me an answer which I had not received before, in that the petitioner's answer to that question of why he wanted to become a lawyer was he intended to use the legal career as a stepping stone into politics. And this was because your petitioner told me that there were many great politicians who had come from a background of law. Although personally, I must confess that in Malaysian politics, I know of no great politicians. But your petitioner added that when he went through his chambering, he realized that in reality, legal practice and politics were professions or industries which were poles apart as legal practice required one to be disciplined, principled, honest, forthright, and above all, honorable. Principles which your petitioner felt were in contradiction with the business of politics. Okay, those were his words, if not mine. And this is a fantastic realization, and I do hope that the loss of the petitioner to the world of politics would instead be a great gain for a legal profession. My lady, your petitioner is aware that he's about to embark on the difficult path of legal practice as opposed to the path of politics. Legal practice, after all, is a path which is not laid in gold, but rather is one which is long and winding with many bumps, pitfalls, hurdles, and like many of our Malaysian ropes, full of potholes. But your petitioner remains humble by the journey which lies before him. And despite being able to take perhaps what is an easier path by entering politics, your petitioner is proud to stick by the principles he had gained in his months of chambering and wishes to join the ranks of us battle-hardened legal practitioners at the bar. Your petitioner under, today will undertake with this honorable court that he shall always take the path or always walk the path of legal practice with enthusiasm, passion, and candor, while always acting without fear or favor to uphold the principles of justice. My lady, on this day, a uh, momentous occasion of his long call, your petitioner would like to take the opportunity to thank the following people in his life. Firstly, your petitioner would like to thank his pupil master, Juan Sharifa Dalila Elba from the firm of Messrs. Elba and Partners for introducing your petitioner to the world of corporate and banking law, uh, which is the area of law which your petitioner has gained much knowledge on and to which your petitioner intends to continue to explore as his preferred area of legal practice. During his privilege, I am made to understand that your petitioner garnered a reputation as being a problem solver where his firm had frequently tasked him to resolve issues at various government offices and departments, where most lawyers face administrative challenges, uh, such as the land office, tax departments, and stamping office all over Malaysia. I can imagine that this is not a, would not have been a very easy task, especially considering that the bulk of the period of your practitioner's practice was during a period when the country was under lockdown. Uh, this is clearly a skill which uh, not all lawyers have the patience or temperament to acquire or develop. And I count myself among the number of lawyers who, do, who lack that skill. I am sure this skill would prove valuable to any organization. Your petitioner would also like to thank his sisters, Norlina and Shafika, for being his support system, both mentally and financially. To his grand, uh, thanks is also extended to his grandmother, uncles, aunties, and his cousins for their encouragement and inspiration, which has pushed him to become the first lawyer in the family. The petitioner would also like to thank his colleagues in Elba and partners for their guidance and kindness. His housemates, Faiz and Fahmi, for always being there with him for their constant love and support during his ups and downs, and for helping keep your petitioner sane, during the, especially during the period of the MCO lockdown last year. Last but definitely not least, your petitioner extends his thanks and appreciation to his close friends, Shake, Faiz, Airul, Afif, Iqbal, Muhaimin, and Aklina for being there for him through thick and thin. They, I am told, have made your petitioner's journey to becoming an advocate and solicitor an enjoyable and memorable experience. With that, my lady, 
I verily believe that the petitioner is a fit and proper person to be admitted and enrolled as an advocate and solicitor of the High Court of Malaya. The petitioner's papers are in order, and I do believe that there are no objections from the Attorney General's Chambers, the Bar Council, or the Kuala Lumpur Bar Committee. And with that, my lady, I would respectfully pray for your petitioner, Muhammad Ashraf bin Shahabuddin, to be admitted and enrolled as an advocate solicitor of the High Court of Malaya. Mahkamah dengan ini membenarkan permohonan pempetition dan menerima masuk Encik Muhammad Ashraf bin Shahabuddin sebagai peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Melayu dan juga memerintahkan supaya nama Muhammad Ashraf bin Shahabuddin dan penerimaannya didaftarkan oleh pendaftar. Terima kasih, Encik Arif. Um, if my me, Encik Arif, uh, with acknowledgement to the new normal we are living in, may I uh, have the petitioner self-rule himself? Silakan, Encik Muhammad Ashraf bin Shahabuddin. Terima kasih, Encik Arif. Petition ke-7 WA 18209512019 Pempetition Amiratu Al-Amirat binti Saleh Muhammad Karba Dengan izin Yang Arif, saya Lim Chiwi hadir bagi pihak pempetition Amiratu Al-Amirat binti Saleh Muhammad Karba pada hari ini Rakan-rakan bijaksana saya yang masing-masing mewakili yang berbahagia Peguam Negara Malaysia Majlis Peguam Malaysia dan jawatan kuasa peguam Kuala Lumpur yang telah pun diperkenalkan awal tadi. Dengan izin yang arif, yang arif, saya dengan rendah hati memohon kebenaran untuk meneruskan di dalam bahasa Inggeris. Ya, dibenarkan. Thank you, my lady. My lady, may I briefly introduce the petitioner, Amiratu. The petitioner is the third and favourite child of four children of the loving couple in Cik Saleh and Puan Aida, who are beaming with pride as they witness their daughter being admitted to the bar from behind the screen of a computer. The petitioner's name, Amiratu, in Arabic means the princess of princesses. And I would submit that the petitioner lives up to her name, Amiratu. My first submission, my lady, is up on Amiratu the wordsmith. The petitioner had to abandon her initial ambition of being an architect to become a law student because she couldn't draw. While she couldn't draw a painting, she could write well about a painting. In UM Law School, she was drawn to the study of our federal constitution and the art of persuasion. Like any driven young lawyer, we are nurtured in law school by strong and inspirational teachers. UM Law School has a large talent pool of teachers. The petitioner learned from the best. Professor Shad Faruqi, the constitutionalist, and Rafael Koch, the advocacy teacher and the bar's great laws. I have the pleasure of working with both Prof. Shad and Rafael, and I, a senior lawyer, am still learning from them. My second submission, Amiratu, the advocate. The petitioner under the mentorship of Rafael Kaur was a member of the UM Law School in the 2019 Philip C. Jessup International Law Moot Court Competition, where UM emerged as national champions. The UM team proceeded to Washington for the international rounds and came 16 out of 134 teams from all over the world. My third submission, Amiratu, the teacher. The petitioner wanted to give back to her alma mater after her graduation. She dedicated her time to coach a team of students who then emerged as champion in the 2019 Cyber Law Mood Court competition. My fourth submission, my lady, Amiratu, the strong. After graduation, the petitioner applied for pupillage in a large law firm to gain wide exposure to the practice of law. She chose wisely to have Inchik Rosli Dalan to be her pupil master. I know Rosli well, and he's a senior litigation lawyer with integrity and dedication. A few months into pupillage, the petitioner followed Inchik Rosli Dalan when Rosli set up a boutique specialist law firm, as appears to be the current trend of small is beautiful. That was not the only change of scenery. One week after joining the new firm, the petitioner and her master were tested positive for COVID-19 and was part of the heavenly cluster, Cluster Kayangan, admitted into Sungai Bulo Hospital. The petitioner overcame COVID and is now normal and strong. As fate would have it, the, pu the petitioner's privilege revolves around the MCO. Even this admission, which was postponed several times, is now taking place 
during MCO 2.0. Malaysia, my lady, will overcome this pandemic. My fifth submission, Amiratu the Grateful. While the privilege and now practice have been tough for the petitioner, she's grateful for the lessons in life, which she's putting into practice in her own life. Her father taught her patience. Inchik Rosli Dalan taught her the values of being caring and genuine. Rosalie is the petitioner's constant source of inspiration, and the petitioner could only hope to inspire others the same way one day, being equally impactful. Having received knowledge beyond what books can teach, the petitioner is thankful for all that she has learned from Rosalie. My lady, the petitioner also sincerely thanks her friends who each played a role throughout the petitioner's high and lows, her loyal companions and fellow pupils, Lily, Shama, and Shafinas, to her colleague turned friends, Diana, Jian, and Yuju. Sincerely from her heart, the petitioner is most grateful for having trusting and supportive siblings, Zuhur, Bila, and Muhammad. To the petitioner's father, Saleh Garba, originally from Libya, the petitioner is eternally grateful for the love showered on her and fulfilling her life with great joy and protection. Pre-pandemic, Ijik Saleh's work and business in Malta kept him, kept him thousands of miles away, but his fatherly presence is always felt by the petitioner. The best is always safe for the last. The petitioner's unrepaid debt of gratitude to her best friend, the guardian angel, and the single most important person in her life, Juan Aida, her mother of comfort, of sacrifices, of selflessness, and boundless love. My sixth and final submission, Amiratu, the future. I have no doubt that we will hear more of the name Amiratu, and if I may be permitted to recite a pantun to make my point. Birthday di ladang berbuah selalu. Nangke sebiji. Di raga dayang, cantik dipandang berwajah ayu, wanita berbakti jasa dikenang. My lady, I believe the petitioner is a fit and proper person to be admitted and enrolled as an advocate and solicitor. I believe all her papers are in order and that my learned friends from the Attorney General's Chambers, the Bar Council and the Kuala Lumpur Bar Committee respectively have no objections to this motion. Tak ada bantahan yang Arif. Tak ada bantahan yang Arif. Tak ada bantahan yang Arif. Dengan izin yang Arif, saya dengan rendah hati memohon agar pemerintah diterima masuk dan didatarai dengan sebagai peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaysia. Baik, Mahkamah dengan ini membenarkan permohonan pemerintah dan menerima masuk Cik Amiratu Al-Amirat binti Saleh Muhammad Garba sebagai peguam bela dan peguam cara Mahkamah Tinggi Malaya dan juga memerintahkan supaya nama Cik Amiratu Al-Amirat binti Saleh Muhammad Garba dan penerimaannya didaftarkan oleh pendaftar. Dengan izin yang arif, saya memohon kebenaran daripada mahkamah yang mulia ini untuk pemerintah menyarongkan jubahnya sendiri. Silakan Cik Amiratu Al-Amirat binti Saleh Muhammad Garba. Terima kasih Arif. Dengan ini saya menjemput yang Arif Hakim untuk memberikan ucapan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to everyone. Federal Council, Tuan Ahmad Faiz bin Razali, representative of the Attorney General's Chambers. Ms. Diana Lim Fan Ping, representative of the Malaysian Bar Council. Mr. Nimalan, anak lelaki Dewa Raja, representative of the Kuala Lumpur and Selangor Bar Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Malaysian judiciary, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all petitioners on your admission as advocates and solicitors of the High Court of Malaysia. I would also like to congratulate your proud parents and your loved ones who have sacrificed a lot to get you to where you are today. Congratulations also to the masters who have willingly and diligently shared their legal knowledge during the nine months of public period to all petitioners 
on the reality of this profession, and not to forget to all family members and friends who have been giving unwavering support to all petitioners throughout the journey. It can be said that the current situation shows that the average young lawyers will face the challenges of a competitive job market. Be that as it may, I believe that no matter what challenges and obstacles arises, will not be a hindrance for this profession to continuously grow and the services of the petitioners are still needed. One of the fundamental responsibilities of an advocate is to maintain the highest professional standard of integrity and competence at all times. In order to succeed, I've said this many times, your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure. We take years of experience to a skillful advocate. Continuous professional developments and education can only enhance our legal competence. Spend your time in your initial years in the bar developing your advocacy skills. Technology also has transformed the practice of law. Whether you like it or not, lawyers must be proficient in a wide range of technology platforms. And I believe the young ones will not face any problem. I would like to emphasize that it is not just the intellectual skill that comes with work at the bar, but also the integrity which should be inherent in lawyers as officers of the court. On a daily basis, in the functionings of the courts, the legal profession plays a pivotal role for lawyers not only carries his professional duties, he is trained for towards his line, he also assumes a role in safeguarding the sanctity of the legal system for to do otherwise would be detrimental to its proper function. It should be emphasized that a lawyer is also an officer of the court and has the duty to assist the court in upholding justice. A lawyer needs to ensure that he performs his role well when dealing with, with the court. A lawyer who is well prepared with his case definitely will smoothen the court process. It is my hope that young lawyers take cognizance about legal ethics for it reflects this profession. Be mindful of your speech and behavior and do not punish this profession. Read and understand the act, regulations and rules related to this profession to ensure that every lawyer knows about their rights and limitations in the administration of justice. As young lawyers, try to learn from a more senior and experienced lawyers. Find time and observe how they handle cases with maturity, with wisdom, and with prudence. This will indirectly help you when handling cases, especially the type of case applicable law, as well as advocacy skills. Lawyers as guardians of the law play a vital role in the preservation of society. The fulfillment of this role requires an understanding by lawyers of their relationship with and function in our legal system. They are first and foremost officers of the court. This is a role of paramount importance within the justice system because they assist the court to arrive at a just decision. It is the lawyer who sets out the factual basis for a dispute, the complaint of his client, who conducts the trial in accordance with the principles of natural justice, and of course significantly provides guidance to the court in relation to the law. In undertaking these rules and this, sorry, these duties, a lawyer's primary and overriding duty is owed to the court. It is therefore of fundamental importance for lawyers to comprehend and accept that while they are agents for their clients who pay them for the work they undertake, their cardinal duty is to ensure that their presentation of their client's case and the law is honest, relevant, and of sufficient competence to assist the court. Observe the ethics and legal responsibilities in order to instill public confidence towards this profession. In all cases, it is a shared responsibility between the bar and the judiciary to uphold the rule of law and to ensure that the justice system is served in transparent and fair manner. I'm confident that you will strive to achieve distinction in the pursuit of your career. And towards this cause, be respectful of the bench, the bar, 
your clients, I will share it in court, and everyone that you come into contact with. Mutual respect must be maintained and observed. Last but not least, be a lawyer who is dedicated, full of integrity, ethical, and high discipline, and strive to improve skills and knowledge in this profession for the better future, not only for the petitioners, but also to this profession. Thank you very much. The court is adjourned.